Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the world of SSH and show you how to connect to a remote server right from your Windows 11 or Windows 10 machine. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a cryptographic network protocol that allows secure communication between two computers over an insecure network. The prerequisites to use SSH in Windows 10 11 to connect to a remote server are you should be running OpSSH server on the remote server, like a VPS. OpenSSH client should be installed on your Windows machine. You should know the IP address of the server you want to connect to. You should also know the username and password configured for SSH and the key pairs, if configured. First, let's check whether the OpenSSH client is installed on your Windows. Open the PowerShell or CMD by typing in the search bar and run the following command. If the OpenSSH client is already installed, you'll see this result. If you see anything else, it indicates that OpenSSH hasn't been installed. If you want you can also use the command line CMD. I prefer the command line myself. If OpenSSH is not installed on your computer go to Settings. Then click on System and then go to Optional Features. Then click on Add a Feature. In the search bar, type OpenSSH Client and select it. The OpenSSH will be downloaded and installed on your window on my system it is already installed. To connect to the remote SSH server, run the following command. Replace username with your username on the remote server and remote server IP with the IP address or domain name of your remote server. Press Enter. You might be prompted to confirm the connection by entering Yes. Once you've done that, simply enter your password when prompted, and voila! You're now connected to your remote server securely over SSH. Let us try running some commands on the remote Linux machine. If you are provided with the SSH server's public and private keys, you can log in using these keys. Run the following command. Replace path to private key with the path to your private key file, username with your username on the remote server, and remote server IP with the IP address or domain name of your remote server. The default port number for SSH is 22. However, if your SSH server is configured to listen on a different port, you can specify that port in the connection command using the following syntax. And there you have it, folks. Whether you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, connecting to a remote server over SSH is a breeze. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and happy SSHing!